Hello and welcome. This is the unboxing for the Raspberry Pi 400 personal computer. Now note that this version is a standalone version, meaning that it only comes with the personal computer without any accessories whatsoever. So the box is like this. This is the side of the box. Let me try to get into focus on the side and the back of the box and this particular layout is the US keyboard layout as you can see from the bottom right hand corner there is nothing on the side of the box So now I'll just open it. It's just a sleeve that you can slide up. And then on top, you just will lift the cover. And this is what you get. And nothing else in the box. Now this is a US uh, keyboard layout as I mentioned so you see that uh, over here is a double quote if you had bought a UK layout keyboard this one will be the ampersand will be the alias character which is this character here above the two so if you had bought a US layout then you will get the ampers the alias character here under the two above the two and the double quote over here so this is a us keyboard layout which i'm having here so because uh, i'm in my region we are using us keyboard layout so i chose the us keyboard layout so that it is similar to my laptop which I'm using all my computers at home are also US keyboard layout so be careful when you are buying make sure you choose the correct one based on your region and your preference so my preference is a US keyboard layout where the double code is uh, shown here instead of the instead of the alias uh, key over here and then Turning it around, <clears throat> this is what you get made in UK. Uh, it says here, and then the the up top part of the keyboard looks like this, and this part here can be removed to show the GPIO pins. So just need to peel off this part this is a rubber enclosure like this which you can just remove and that exposes the pins like this so it has got the standard uh, 40 GPIO pins here and if you look closely it is uh, labeled as pin 1 on the top right corner so you can see this label here it says it says pin 1 and then on the bottom left corner is pin 40 pin 40 so this suggests that this pin here, the top right here, is pin 1 based on the label and the bottom leftmost pin here, this one, is pin 40, pin 4D alright, and then for this standalone version, there is no SD card 
no micro SD card as you see it's empty so you need to buy one on your own and I would recommend at least 16 gigabytes of micro SD card next to it you have HDMI 0 for your first monitor you will use this if you only had one monitor you will plug your micro USB cable into this USB into this micro HDMI out output the second one is for your second monitor if you have a second monitor then you will plug it into HDMI 1 this is HDMI 0 the default one which you should use and this is HDMI 1 micro and then next to it is your power socket it's a, mic it's a USB type C power socket again you need to buy the power it doesn't come with this stand alone and even the cable you need to buy so you need to buy the micro SD card the you need to buy the micro HDMI cable you need to buy the power uh, power cable and adapter it comes together as well and the last thing you need is a mouse so you have two USB 3 and one USB 2 so I will use uh, USB 2 for my mouse you can use either a wireless mouse or you could use a wired mouse both works uh, I leave the USB 3 for other things like my web webcam so you can attach your webcam here one of these if you have a webcam I have a Logitech webcam so I attach it here and then last one I wish I don't use is your RJ45 network socket and this is for a Kensington lock if you wanted to lock your keyboard so that's it the bare bones uh, are Raspberry Pi 400 without any accessories whatsoever so if you wanted to make this complete you need to buy uh, extra additional uh, Raspberry Pi adapter this is the official one which I have here Raspberry Pi power supply the UK plug I've already opened this box and it looks like this so this is what you get the Raspberry Pi official Raspberry Pi power and here is the USB type type C connector and this is UK plug so it has got three pins and at the side here you will see um, the rating so as I've explained in my previous video this type C um, connector USB type C connector uh, needs to go into your power this is your power here so it goes into here like this all right so that's it and then for the mouse you can use <coughs> a wireless mouse any wireless mouse will do so I will use my wireless mouse here over here like this wireless mouse and that will go very nicely with my Logitech wireless mouse and then the next thing you will need will be your micro USB connector which you connect to this port here now you need to buy uh, either a micro HDMI connector or if you already have a HDMI cable then you just need to buy an adapter like this this is the Raspberry Pi micro HDMI to HDMI connector and it looks like this so this is the adapter I already have I already have a HDMI cable which I use to connect to my monitor so I don't need to buy another HDMI cable 
I just buy this instead so the way I use it is to yeah I'll just remove this one the way I use it is I use okay, this uh, ad adapter has got this kind of uh, connectors micro USB on one side and a female HDMI connector on the other side so I will take my my existing HDMI cable which is already connected to my monitor and plug it into the female socket here and then the other end I will plug it into my HDMI micro HDMI number zero which is this one this is the default HDMI this one here like this into this and then the next thing you need another accessory you need which is a definite must is your micro SD card which I already explained in my earlier video so I'm using a uh, 16 gig uh, 16 gigabytes I think this one is Kingston you can use Sandisk or other brands if you prefer I got a couple of these leftovers lying around so I didn't have to buy alright and then the other thing is you need is probably the book which you can download for free from Raspberry Pi ORG the title of the book is uh, beginners uh, official raspberry pi beginners book so that one is free so you don't have to buy that all right other optional things you might need is maybe you want to buy an extension extension ribbon for this you don't need to actually but if you wanted you could you could buy an extension like this all right so this is an extension which you can plug into this over here so the way you plug it is like this it goes in here like this right but there is a notch here there is a notch here if you look closely there is a notch up here see this notch here all right so this notch here will ensure that when you plug in you will plug in to match the notch here as well if you look closely there's a notch here as well All right so that will ensure you will not plug it in the wrong way All right so this is optional you don't need this if you don't want so if you want you can buy so this notch merely extends the thing out level when you plug it in like this it extends the the GPIO pins out here like this and then here you notice there's a notch here as well yeah so this notch here corresponds to the notch which you saw here right and then because this is pin 1 so if you were to turn it around like this this will be pin 1 as well the bottom this part here this is pin 1 the lower row leftmost pin 1 right uh, and then because over here this is pin 40 bottom right pin 40 so here when you match it this will be pin 40 four zero this one so that's how you do it right and then other things you might probably consider buying if you like if you have the budget is to get a Raspberry Pi Sense Hat right. <coughs> so the Sense Hat uh, is can be used to connect to this over here right so this is what it looks like Sense Hat it comes with a manual and 
nicely back like this so the back is like that and the, and the side is like this sense head and the way you connect it the sense head okay this is your thing so the, the correct way to connect the sense head is to plug in like this like this there you go like that so when you are coding you whatever display will be shown here in the LED in the 8 by 8 matrix it will be shown for example if you are going to display the character A it will be showing up here upright character A like this right if you didn't have this cable you have to plug your sense head directly like this so it will be upside down eh? so when you display any character you have to turn the keyboard around to look at the output like this so it's a bit uh, a bit of, of cumbersome to turn it around every time so that's the reason why I bought this extra ribbon so that I can just plug it in like this directly and then as I code, I can just look it, look at it like this. I can just leave it on the table after plugging it in. I can just leave it on the table and put the box behind like that. Right, very convenient for me. So this is some tips for you for those who are thinking of how to connect your sense hat. This is how I do it. Right and so that's it for this unboxing i hope it was uh, helpful to you and enjoy your raspberry pi uh, see you uh, in the next video thank you for watching